I would like to start this vlog by saying that I'm excited that you're here today. Reality. Have you ever wondered why there appears to be so many realities to choose from in life? I mean, just how many realities are there? It appears that everywhere we look, someone is attempting to have us buy into a reality. Usually, their reality. Let me just say that there are as many realities as there are people willing to consider them. How do we create realities? Did you ever think of that? Is there one that is best suited for everyone to live and operate in? We could spend many hours contemplating this topic. But for time's sake, let's condense it down in order to contemplate the tools that we use to create realities. Did you know that you're creating your own reality? That's what I'm hearing. These tools are perspective, perception, experience, truths, and reality. That's how it works. Perspective, perceptions, experiences, truths, and reality. Have you ever stopped to think that there is nothing physical or other than physical being created that did not originate first with a thought? The device that you're viewing me on right now started with a thought. Somebody thought, ah, oh, I wonder if I could. Or the chair that you may be sitting on was once started by someone having a thought of what that looked like, of creating that. Which brings us to the first tool of reality, and that is perspective. Have you ever wondered why you have the thoughts that you are having about yourself and the world that you live in? Have you ever wondered why you feel the need to defend those thoughts? There are some that say that this is the way to enlighten them. These thoughts have come from our caregivers, our authority figures, our educators, our ministers, our social and governmental constructs, mostly desiring what's best for us from the understanding that we're passed on to them from the same sources. Our perspective is how and even why we perceive what is happening in the world around us. This could be a point of view in our mind about a certain topic. It could also be where your body is located or positioned in relationship to the world around you. My perspective of you right now is here. My perspective of you here is different. My perspective of you here is different. My perspective of you now is completely different. This could be a point of view in our mind about a certain topic. It could be where uh, your body is located or positioned in relationship to the world around you. For example, you could be on a mountaintop or you could be in the valley. One is up close, one is far away. Your perspective. There are numerous amounts of examples for here, there, the place in between that's neither here nor there. There's all kinds of examples. I would like to stay in we as humans have mostly been sustaining a cultural story, one of collective perspectives, and we call it, this is my perspective, really? Yet, we have the ability and the opportunity to determine our own perspective, which is always an individual occurrence for all of us, individually. I'll go on a limb and say it's physically, mentally, and emotionally impossible for us to have the exact same perspective as someone else. Similarities, maybe. Exacts, not so much. We'll get into this further later on in our dialogue. I see that we're going to need more time to unwrap this topic, so for time's sake, let's close for now and be back here next week to continue with the next facet of reality called perception. Have a wonderful week, and if you feel that someone you know can benefit from this dialogue, please, 
please, please, please share with them. I would like to hear how this topic is showing up in you. It's because I care about you. You are important to me. I desire for you to be important to you. This is Daniel Leahy saying bye for now.